Hey, what is up, guys? It's me, Master 356 and today we're gonna see Impo because the game told us to. Alright. Whoa! On. You there, who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impo's abode? What? Mm -hmm. Is that a chic slate? But that would mean you are. No, it's not possible. Can it be? Please per forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we have heard the legend from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. First, I'm going to take your apples. Who is this person? A man? Huh? Is that... It's a chic asleep. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? L Ling. Um. Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Pa Pa Pa. Oh, my name is Paya. Phew, I got it out. I know I should be able to say it that easily, seeing how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting, awaiting your return ever since I was little. But please hurry inside. Alright. Just barge on in. Suck. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, mate. I forgot I Impa had a voice actor. Older <laughs> now, but you remember me. Don't you? What is the matter? You're looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, Courageous One, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name, Impa. Oh. I see. So you have lost your memory. Huh. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Oh. A hundred years ago. Oh. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was... Yes, after, after you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then... All alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I've been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. However, these words which the princess has risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be, be prepared to risk your life as well. Well, I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. I'm ready. I cannot pass on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared for to risk your life for the greater good? I am. Ha! Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to ch charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Oh. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Please be voice acted. The history Good. of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, 
each conflict with Ganon ended in Jalotra. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that grew to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero, wielding the sword that seals the darkness, delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Are we done? A hundred years ago, I want to talk, speak again. But I guess I have to. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you with these words. Free the four divine beasts. That was what she said. Four divine beasts are the ancient Chica weapons wielded by the four champions who gain and defeated. The divine beast Valdania, controlled by the Rook of the Gorons. The divine beast Valmedo, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. Divine beast Valruta, controlled by Mifa of the Zora. Divine beast Valnobris, not Bor the Boris, controlled by Urbosa of the Greta. Oh. It would be extremely advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beast to help you, but you still can. You must inf infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away from Gan by Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. <sighs> More information about these Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. The Sheikah Slay will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. So yeah, that was what that Zora thing was about. It would have led us to one of the Divine Beasts. So yeah. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slay is not yet complete. The device Prince Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hatino Village might be able to help you. It's there. Do you see it? It is a small village. One of the very few places that avoided suffering 
significant damage during the Great Calamity. Actually, I want to do that first. Go to Hatino Village. You are Princess Zelda's only hope. And Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Cool. Alright. So. Oh, hi. M Master Link. Whatever is the matter at this hour, dark magic preys upon the land when darkness falls. P please promise to take care. Okay. Oh, yeah, we could go on this thing. Alright, cool. Um. Hatino is over here. Kinda wanna go to the shrine first. I think I'll do that. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Alright. You know, let's just make this a short story based episode and we'll do the uh, go to Hatino Village on the next episode. Bye.